and every student has to build its uh, its own robots. Okay. So a lot of the websites and um, video advertising around the area is done by our students. This one is with such a nice view. And again, why don't I see many UK universities here? Uh, well, because they don't do these. Uh Hola amigos, Mariardi is in sunny Spain. Today, we've got something truly special to share. A closer look at Sota Grande International School, a private IB school located near Marbella. This school has earned its reputation as one of the best IB schools in Malaga, where innovation meets education in state-of-the-art classrooms. In a world that's changing faster than ever, how do we prepare children for real life? The answer is through advanced facilities and dynamic teaching approaches. Soto Grande International School is at the forefront of this, focusing on modern educational technologies to enhance learning. In this video, you'll get to see vibrant classrooms designed for interactive and exciting learning experiences. You'll also meet passionate teachers who use innovative methods to inspire students, so much so that they don't even want to take a holiday. Ready to explore? Let's kick off our campus tour at Soto Grande International School by starting with the Junior School and their incredible foundation in education. And um, But here you can see it's all about the children being. So you start with a, you start with here that they will have looked at something. What do you see? What do you think? What do you wonder? And that starts the questions. And then we start asking questions and we build up like a, a learning journey wall. Mm -hmm. So the children use it to come back to you. Do you remember when we went to the forest to do this? What did you see? What did you think? Oh, did you wonder? Okay. So this becomes kind of the memory aid for supporting the children's learning. Sweets, when we change the topic, the classrooms change the appearance. Oh yeah. So, so teachers have fun as well. Huh? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> teachers have fun as well. De decorating classrooms, yeah, look, look up here. Hello. Right, so again, you can see the different spaces where the children are able to go to explore. The, the last unit was all about transport and how we get around our world. So in here, we had a big place. In there, we had a big boat. And in there, we had our school bus. I even know. So it was literally, yeah, for... And uh, here you have a farm. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But they just put, um, they went to the farm last. Yeah. Here, here. Ah, you went to the farm. You took two kids to the farm. Yeah. Ah. Those pigs enjoy the, the mud, huh? <laughs> well, they do. so here they get them a roll in them and they wash them. That's why it's ah, they, they roll them, yeah. <laughs> and then they go and they because it's a way of taking the thing off them. Yeah. So they go and wash them themselves. Uh -huh. That's why the mud is all wet. Yeah, just thought again, it's all about that documentation. So that when they went to the trip to the farm last week, they'd come back, they'd take the photos, they put on the what the teachers bird, the children talking about. So when they come back to talk about it, it's like. Again, the memory aid to go back. Yeah. Schools abroad are so diverse that it's almost impossible to showcase everything in just one video. That's why each trip like this leads us to a whole series of episodes. And this school is no exception. We've added links in the description for you to explore more if you would like. Right now, Adil and Elizabeth are already in the senior school, where technology and innovative teaching methods are taking center stage. Don't miss out. Join them. Let's go. Okay. Here in this building, what we have is English, the uh -huh. English department, the uh -huh. Spanish department. Languages. Yeah, individual and societies. And digital design. A digital design, okay. Yes. And then... So like digital design is a separate subject, yeah? Yes. Ah. Okay. So here we are in digital design. Okay. Uh -huh. This is not, uh, you know, they do craft work. Uh huh. Ah, okay. That's okay. that kind. So it's helping others to design something. So you might have a client, or they look for a client, and then they design the website for the client. Mm -hmm. It's more 
what can I do the tool with the tools to create something and to to help others. Mm, okay, all right. And 3D printers. 3D well. printers. But you have a computer clusters as well, oh, yeah? Yeah. Uh -huh. All our secondary students have their own computer. <laughs> But uh, it's, and then, it's their own computer or yeah, school supplies? No, it? it's their own computer. Oh, right. Yeah. Look, I, I can see Mike from here already. Yeah. This is our computer science. Oh. Ah, yeah. Computer science. Yeah. This is like uh, industry standards, isn't it? We all, we're in Apple Distinguished School. Uh huh. So all our computers are Mac computers. Oh. Oh. Uh huh. You can see robotics. Oh, robotics as yeah. well. And then there is a club, a Warhammer club. Warhammer? Mm hmm This is like a computer game or something. It's... They're different figures. Hmm. Well, this is all about... Robotics. robotics. Oh, right, okay. So each one has to assemble their own robot. Aha. Uh -huh. And then, let me see, where is the Warhammer? It's right at the bottom, oh, yeah. yeah. So these are the items for Warhammer. It's like uh, you put that on the table and then you start uh, moving the the figures. Oh, yeah? Mm, it's Warhammer, I'm sure. Here, you Is must like have students, you must have people who know exactly. Remote control? To... No, no, it's all, it's like a yeah. game, yeah. All right, interesting, okay. And every student has to build its uh, its own robots. Okay, <laughs> you then program it and yeah, program it to do something. Mm -hmm. Warhammer isn't just a fantasy tabletop game. It's an entire universe waiting to be explored. With a mix of strategy, tactics, and role-playing, it's got something for everyone. Now, you might be wondering, how does a game like this fit into a classroom setting? Isn't it just for fun? Well, Warhammer is actually a powerful educational tool, perfect for fostering critical thinking, teamwork, and creativity in students. History and literature, creative writing and storytelling, mathematics and strategic thinking, teamwork, and communication. All of this can be taught through the game and how exciting it is for students compared to traditional textbook learning. Wow. Okay, so you are into recycling, huh? Now, this is a project in M5 and they're 15 years old. They have to work to do a personal project. Uh -huh. A personal project is based on something you're passionate about. And you have to work towards a, is it? a final result. <clears throat> so this was so all about every recycling. It's as well about the ocean pollution, pollution. everything. Mm -hmm. So each child chooses their its own, own theme and topic. Exactly, yeah. Oh, that's so great! And the boy who was building a tiny home mm -hmm. in his house, really, uh, with a bedroom, he did everything. Amazing. Uh, the whole little tiny house. Others, um, but they have to. Life. They have to research into the topic first, isn't it? It's exactly. not just what doing do something. What do you really like? What do you passionate about? Yeah. Or what would you like to change? Or what do we want to do? Hmm. That's a, in UK they call it EPQ, Extended Project Qualification. They call it, and universities love it. It's a very good addition to. Yeah, that's the IB system. So you have to do it. You have to do yeah. it. Okay. At Mariadi, we don't just help with school admissions, we also assist in selecting the right subjects and specializations for senior school students. Career guidance for young people is also one of our areas of expertise. In fact, having a clear vision of future opportunities is often more important than choosing the right school, and we can help with that too. To arrange a consultation with our experts, simply follow the link in the description and fill out the application. We'll get in touch with you. Alternatively, you can choose any any other convenient method. All the necessary contact details, are you also there? You teach design, okay. He was asking, what design, where are the computers, he said. Yeah. It depends on what we're doing. We do things from full-on programming, computer science, web design. Uh-huh. Game design, we also... Do. Oh, even game design, really? Wow, not many schools do that. No, well, we use ActionScript, which is the closest thing to JavaScript. Oh, and yeah. So you do it with Python, right? Yeah. Um, so we build them up from M1 all the way to computer science so that they're really ready. And mm. our school got, well, he, 
his class got the highest results in in the whole school, way above the、um, global average. Really? Do you use Scratch as well for younger students? Yeah, yeah back in、mm. M1. Yeah, and yeah, go from that.、Um, we do product design in terms of marketing and packaging and startup companies. We、uh, make solutions for people who have disabilities. One girl did an octopus for. Um, infants who have diabetes but are afraid of the needles and have to get injections every day.、Oh. So、um, she made an octopus that wraps around the kid and the face blocks so they can't actually see the needle. And then on one of the、um, tentacles, that she used、um, the 3D printer to make blunt pressure points so that it would press against the point of where the injection is going to be so that child won't feel it.、Oh, and she wrote、sure. a storybook that goes along with Oswald the octopus so the kid feels like it's their friend.、Um, Amazing, huh? We've had people design locking gear mechanisms for their little sister's wheelchair. We've had kids design apps for people who are schizophrenic so they can know whether they're、um, hallucinating or not. We work with local businesses. So a lot of the websites and Um, video advertising around the areas done by our students,、mm. um, and then it turns into what you were talking about outside is the design, the、uh, personal project. That's really a, a big design project at the end because you have to figure out what are your criteria for success and, and what you need to do throughout the whole cycle, and then evaluate it. So, so it's, it's like a full cycle, yeah. Yeah, the, everything we teach is a full design cycle. I, I always say everything we see around us. Has been designed by someone,、right. and modeled by someone, isn't it? Absolutely. Maybe except the mother nature, but maybe maybe mother nature was designed by someone as well. That's not a natural scene. <laughs> you know, that's being manipulated by right. Yeah. Right. Somebody just showed me photos of the、uh, in Sevilla. There's a museum exhibit about 3D printing and whatever. And she said, "And look, it's done for it's done for medicine, and it's done for this, and, and even design." And I actually said. The whole thing is designed. The whole thing is designed, yeah. And now you know they use now three D printers for、uh, in the building、uh, industry.、Mm-hmm. Absolutely. That this opens up so many things for architects, isn't it? Right.、Mm, this is a very very good subject, regardless to what pathway you choose. I think it is absolutely because it teaches you what we say. It teaches you creativity, creative thinking, and empathy. Yeah. Where else do you learn empathy? You know, you have to think about the client. Art is about you and what you want to say. Design is about the client and how that's received. So you have to learn empathy to be a good designer. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Thank you. Nice talking to you. <laughs> Don't take pictures of all of it. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is what. Ah, that's what you used to, yeah, to do、the、things. The ones are doing chain reaction mechanisms. Uh huh. So they've been all out of recycled materials. So they've brought in bags and bags and bags of recycled material. Bags and bags. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's creative process. <laughs> all right. Take Thank care. You. Thank you. Our channel offers a wide range of videos for you to enjoy, from exploring educational institutions and gaining valuable tips about studying abroad, to watching inspiring interviews with young people chasing their dreams. There's something for everyone. If this sounds like your kind of content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It's the perfect way to mix learning with enjoyment. This is to show you a modern new classroom. This is a classroom, really. Okay, so if you want, you can sit here as well. Of course, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Why not? You have to feel yourself、uh, relaxed. Each child stuff, yeah? works and studies in a different way. Yeah. Why not? Why, why not at all? Yeah. You might like to hide. To hide. Well, yeah. <laughs> On the other side, you know, if you have to do individual work, or you do it in a group, <laughs> and you can see all、uh, all tables have wheels. So they move and change it. Yeah. And then the view is stunning. Yeah, that's not the standard、uh, look of the classroom. So all classrooms look the same here. Really? Okay. No, this building, so this is、uh, a modern. Uh huh. Another classroom. Yeah.、No. <laughs> Very interesting layout, I must say. So they work in teams, you know.
Yeah, it depends uh, on how you want to work. Uh, and it's like a, a discussion-based lessons, isn't it? Yeah, it's not the teachers telling you what you have. Yeah, to do. like it's the whole. It used to be like to be a, so that the whole show can talk, you know. Yeah. Everyone have to keep quiet and listen yeah. to the teacher and That's no in, no interaction. Anymore. That's not the way to do it. Ah, uh, this one is with such a nice view, and again, and all have different colors, yeah. 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 And on the area, they're different colors. I like it really, and nice and bright because. Mm. Uh, huge windows and uh, you can uh, regulate uh, the natural lights here yeah? by using these blinds nice and fresh another pinky classroom mm -hmm. so you can see four different colors depends on the yeah. area depending on the age group ah the area mm, okay subjects as well yeah okay yeah i like the classrooms for mm -hmm. sure really nice now, let's take a look at where the older students who are just about to graduate spend their time. Where are we so, going next? I'm going to show you the Diploma Common Room. Diploma Common Room. Which means for just the last two years of education, they have their room where they can study. Ah, it's like a sixth form. Yeah, yeah right. they call it sixth form yeah. center. They call it Common Room. Mm -hmm. Okay, for all the students, that's where they can it's socialize. The diploma, the last two years. The last so two six, years. Six yeah. Born mm -hmm. students. yeah, that's Good. their common room. Hi. Uh. Hi. Our university advisor. Very important man you are, because at the end of the day, this is the goal, isn't it? <laughs> to get into... Good universities. So I'm moving my body's play quick to you, probably going to step back. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't I see many UK universities here? Uh, well, because they don't do these. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reality. Oh, so, something <laughs> coming up to it. They don't, well, they don't do the palace. I think I've got length at all wore it. Uh, yeah. You may start to do it. Yeah, like... Uh, a month ago, I was there. I was yeah, nice. And Lancaster started to do it now. So British universities are capping up with catching up on the marketing. Uh huh. But it's a very American thing, and then other European universities are starting to get on board with it. Yeah. So I think the UK. I was should mention here yeah, because uh, we do work with universities, and before coming here, I visited almost all Northern England universities: Manchester, Liverpool, Nottingham. I've been everywhere. There are so many great schools and universities abroad, but also quite a few that might not be worth your attention. So how do you make the right choice? It's simple. Submit an application to Mariadi using the link in the description. Our team of experts is here to help. So, yeah, it's a one-to-one, -one, uh, like, uh, advice, yeah? Mm -hmm. Right, yes. Well, I do what I do okay. classes. I do university and career classes. Okay. Three through to D2, so like five years. But then I also do one-to-one -to, -one to help them as well. Do you get universities to come as well? And yeah, meet? a number of fairs. So we've had, like, we had a fair. We have? Three fairs this year. Oh. We had about seven or eight online virtual fairs. So oh. we had a big one, which had about 40 mm -hmm. universities, and then mm -hmm. the British one and a Dutch one. This year, so mm. I know okay. there's a Swiss one in uh, maybe the summer in, in deep, but they haven't decided yet. Now they're going to fund them in October. Yeah, yeah. All right, so okay. Post COVID, it's, it's started to lower up. But, but I can see destinations are so broad, huh? Yeah, yeah. Our kids go right around the world. I think the furthest away at the moment is either in uh, California or uh, in Asia, uh, Australia. Can can call you Australia on my globe. <laughs> okay, you're right. Nice to meet you. Did you find this video helpful? You can let us know in the comments or simply by giving it a thumbs up. On that note, we've reached the end of this video. A new episode will be out soon. But for now, ciao amigos.